What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you three ways to ensure you are getting privacy on your Google products. Now, step one to ensure you're getting 100% privacy on your Google Home speaker is, of course, the mute button. Just press this mute button right here. The mic is muted. Now the Google Home won't listen to you at all. And on the Google Mini, you can do the same. Just move this mute switch over and the Google Home Mini is now muted. Hey Google. Okay Google. Oh, but as you notice, it did trigger on my phone. So let's go ahead and change that setting. So on your phone, you wanna go into the Google Home app, then select the hamburger menu on the upper left hand corner. Then you wanna select more settings. Next, you wanna select phone and you want to select right here, access with voice match. Select that and hit okay. Now, some of your apps like the Google Maps or stuff like that, you can still access. If you want to change that setting where you, uh, when you say okay Google while driving, you can select right here, driving setting and then change that setting. All right, once you're done, hit okay. And now let's go ahead and try Hey Google, all right, Google Home is not listening. Okay Google, and the phone is not listening. So now you know you're getting 100% privacy on both devices. Now if you want privacy and peace and quiet, there's another way to do that. So you wanna go back into the Google Home app, make sure it's updated, of course. Select the device icon, choose the speaker right here. This is the speaker, Google Home. Select the three dots. Select settings. And if you want peace and quiet, you choose do not disturb. And then you wanna turn that on. Just select that. You wanna turn it off, tap it again. But what if you just want to know if the mic is on or the Google Home is listening? Well, there's a couple ways to find out. Uh, through sound and through the light feature. Hey Google, now as long as that light is triggered and you see that light on, then you know that Google Home is listening. The, now there's chimes that let you know that the mic is on and when the mic is turning off. So right here I have mine set to turn on when it's listening and turn off when the mic is actually stop listening. Hey Google, turn on all lights. All right, when you heard sure, that turning on 24 lights now when you heard that second chime that lets you know that the mic cut out now if you want to get that feature activated you want to go back into the google home app select devices on the upper right hand corner go to your google home speaker select the three dots select setting and you want to select accessibility my play start sound is activated and my play end sound is activated. Now I know when the mic is on, it chimes, and when it's off, it chimes again for the second time. Hey Google, stop. See, that's it. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you know anyone that this video may help or find informative, click on the share button below, share this video to them, help someone out. If you want more how-to videos like this coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech, click on this link right here or the subscribe button down below. And of course, if you wanna check out more about the Google Home Speaker, click on this playlist link right here. Thanks guys for watching, bye.